would you say? And I'm the developer of Bitkes. Be telling you a bit about what um, we have been doing with Bitkes at uh, Section for Wind Turbine Structures at TTU Wind Energy. Um, I'll give you a brief overview over the workflow we have developed for wind turbine blade design and uh, show you some of the applications. So, uh, because was uh, developed uh, essentially to, to be applied in wind turbine blade design, mostly on wind turbine structural design, and mostly to represent, uh, to be able to represent, to accurately represent wind turbine blades in air elastic analysis uh, codes. So the workflow we have been designing is uh, described here in this uh, diagram where we start usually by having a wind turbine blade and this can be some drawings of the blade, can be uh, a shell model of the blade. Uh, based on this, you typically want to represent this blade on air or an air elastic model uh, here. So what we do is that we cut, so to say, the blade into sections, and each of these sections is uh, meshed using a finite element, a normal, simple 2D finite element mesh. Based on this mesh, because is able to, to, to determine the cross-section stiffness and mass properties, and these properties are then integrated to create uh, beam finite elements, which represent a certain part of the blade. We do this for several sections along the blade, and we uh, we create uh, the corresponding beam finite elements, which are then fit into the uh, beam finite element model representing the entire wind turbine, and in this case specifically here, the, the beam elements representing the blade. So this, you, this is the first part of the workflow. We're mostly interested in uh, estimating the cross-section stiffness and mass properties accurately and, and we're taking into account all kinds of possi possible geometrical effects and material effects and being able to then create these beam models that represent the blade and which are then used to predict the three-dimensional three structural response of the blade. The second part of the workflow is uh, Assuming that you have now run your aeroelastic analysis code, um, you have uh, uh, typically a result would be the, the loads on at a certain section of the blade, this would be transverse forces and moments, for example. And now you are interested in analyzing the, the, uh, the local response of the blade. This could be the stresses or it could be some recent work we have done. You can also analyze, for instance, strain energy re release rates at certain, uh, uh, if you have a crack in your blade, for instance. In which case then, so you grab the blades, you plug them back to Bicus. Based on your cross-section of finite element mesh, you are then able to extract the results and essentially you get uh, you get here the, the stresses at through the thickness as if it was a cutout from a 3D solid finite element model. So in terms of specifications and capabilities of Beakers, he said this is a finite element based tool for analysis of cross-section properties, stiffness and mass properties, the biggest challenge being the, the stiffness properties and uh, essentially it is able to predict the effects stemming from material and isotropy and in homogeneity so various materials throughout the cross-section and also handles arbitrary cross-section geometries. This is really the, the most important feature of the code and the reason why it was developed is to get that extra accuracy which simple calculations cannot really handle and really be able in the elastic model to, to represent the response of the blade very accurately. One of the examples is the torsional stiffness or the torsional degree of freedom of the beam to be able to represent that the response correctly so that as this affects the aerodynamic loads, it becomes important to predict it correctly. So we have spent a lot of time validating the code against the mostly 3D finite element models. 
on both sides of the workflow here. So we have spent quite a lot of time making sure that this beam model at the end represents the response of the blade correctly. And on this side, also making sure that the stresses and strain energy release rates, for instance, that we recover that they are accurate. This is an open source MATLAB toolbox. We distribute it freely for academic use and it's available to commercial users, uh, users upon a small fee. You can go to www.picus.tt.tk for more information. So, I just will give you a, a brief overview of the applications we've been working on. So, the workflow has been used in, uh, for the blade design and analysis. An example is that we had, it has been used for the design of the uh, recently released DTU 10 megawatt reference wind turbine and the blades were designed using BICAS so the, the stiffness properties and the whole strength analysis was carried out inside BICAS and uh, we have of course validated this against shell models that we that we have and we have in the past also compared against solid finite element models we have used the BICAS for uh, doing topology optimization of uh, wind turbine cross sections uh, that work focused on simultaneous material and structural topology optimization. Uh, because you, re you are able to represent the 3D response based only on a 2D mesh, you have a, quite a significant gain in, in the computational efficiency. So often you have seen results for the, the, the 3D structural topology optimization where the, only the topology is considered, we were able to extend that to also consider the material distribution, so we can also consider, in this case, the distribution of the of uh, different types of laminates or laminates in different directions, so we can determine optimal fiber directions. Uh, the future will, will be to take really advantage of the beam finite element model, so now we can represent the response of the blade using very, computationally very efficient uh, B models, and so we should be able to handle nonlinear air elastic constraints during the optimization. Another work has to do with the strength analysis, which I mentioned before, and uh, as I said, it was used in the design of the DTU 10 megawatt reference wind turbine blade, and we have validated it against the 3D solid models. And what you see here is an example of a, uh, of a validation against uh, Abacus. And for a detail of the blade here, where the shear web meets the cap, and you can see a very good match between the stresses of the calculated using beakers and 3D solid models. We have, um, we have recently implemented also failure criteria specific for laminated composite structures, like uh, maximum strain, maximum stress, and Saiwu failure criteria. We have also validated that. Most recent work has uh, um, focused on fracture analysis inside BICAS, so we essentially we have, a, we have looked into uh, simple cases as we are now finished with the validation and essentially this is, uh, so these are fractured beams, so this is just a section of the beam, there's a fracture there that runs all along the length of the beam and what we have done is calculate strain energy release rates once again and compared to 3D finite element result and we have a very good match once again between the the strain at, uh, regarding the strain energy release rates. Uh, of course, both stress, uh, the, the stress analysis and the fraction analysis here are the fraction of the computation time. Hi, I'm Robert and I'm a member of the BCAS team. I'm going to show you some of the pre-processing capabilities that come with BCAS. Specifically, I'm going to show you a Python script called Shell Expander. This script reads information from a finite element shell model and automatically produces a series of BCAS input files. We are going to read information from a file called refblade.input, which is an Abacus finite element shell model. Let's have a look at that model first. So here is our wind turbine blade model and uh, this model contains a number of element sets which uh, correspond to cross sections that BCAS should analyze. If we look at these cross sections we see that they run through the blade. There is uh, one such element set defined uh, approximately every meter of the blade. If we look at only one of these sets 
we see something like this. And uh, well, the, element in the elements in such a model contain information about uh, geometry, material, uh, material orientation, ply thickness, uh, all the information that we need to automatically generate our BCAS input files. Now let us call the shell expander Python script. We do that by typing Python shell expander and as a parameter we give it the name of an options file which contains information like uh, where to read data from, where to write data to, how many elements to use to discretize the cross section and so on. Shell Expander now reads the Abacus model and creates nine sets of input files corresponding to nine cross sections. Of course, in reality, you would use more than nine cross sections for a wind turbine blade. You would probably use something in the order of 50. Uh, now we can see that the new directory has been created called Beakers Input. And in that directory, we find nine subdirectories corresponding to the nine cross sections. And in each of them, we find five beakers input files, which have been generated automatically. Now we are ready to uh, run beakers, which is done by running a MATLAB script that calls functions from the beakers library. For example, this is the function that uh, computes the cross-section stiffness matrix, or uh, this is the function that extracts uh, cross-section stiffness properties from that matrix. Let us run the MATLAB script. MATLAB now uh, loops through the nine cross-sections and uh, computes the nine cross-section stiffness matrices. Uh, this takes a few seconds. Now we are done, and uh, in our beakers input directory, we now find uh, some new files. For example, this file beakers2d.out, which contains uh, the cross-section stiffness matrix, among other things. It also contains uh, a plot showing the uh, to define an element mesh that Shell Expander has generated, and also some Beakers results like the various centers that Beakers has computed, and also the orientation of the elastic axis. Beakers has uh, also uh, automatically converted the cross section stiffness properties to Hawk2 format and written them to this file. So this data is ready to be included in an analysis with Hawk2, uh, which is DTU Wind Energy's aeroelastic code. Of course, the approach I have shown you here is in no way limited to Abacus finite element shell models, but uh, with uh, slight modifications, the script can be used for any kind of finite element shell model. If you would like more information, please visit our website at www.bcas.dtu.dk.